So this story is a little comical. It says, as Black Myth Wukong coming to Xbox, Phil Spencer knows but won't say. Well, we've already seen some clues. We saw the ESRB uh, rating that kind of leaked. It was rated for Xbox Series X and S. The developer said, oh, you know, we're trying to meet the quality standards. We already know. I mean, it's not like we don't know that the game is going to show up in Xbox because we've seen the developers actually express intent to bring it to Xbox, right? So that by itself already tells us. Now, I guess the question now is when, and in this particular, you know, missive here, Phil Spencer actually gets asked if he knows when. So this author writes, mega action hit adventure game, Black Myth Wukong, blah, blah, blah. They talk about how the controversy of face, one which was manufactured by the gaming, writing, media, whatever you want to call them. And then they talked about how it's, it was very successful on both the PlayStation and the PC. But here is something that happened in a, in a new report from GameFile. Former Kotaku editor-in-chief Stephen, uh, Stephen Totillo spoke to Xbox's boss, Phil Spencer, and the topic of Black Myth Wukong came out as it's one of the biggest games of 2024. If not, it's the biggest game of 2024. Don't, not one of, the. So far, anyways. I mean, right? If Indiana Jones can top it, but I'm not certain that he will. I mean, I, it's, I'm sorry if you're an Indiana Jones fan, but again, this game is untouched simply because of the nature of its launch, uh, you know, demographics uh, but it says but it is on xbox it's not an xbox anyways it says so here's the exchange from game file between totillo and spencer and it totillo sorry i, don't, I keep saying totillo and it says uh do you know if we're getting black myth wukong on xbox at some point spencer says i do know game file said are you getting it Spill, phil spencer laughing i can't announce that and then he says so my take from this is yeah we're getting wukong you know it's coming to xbox the question is how uh, when and how uh, will its port, Xbox port be announced? My best guess on Spencer's reaction and the ESRB leak is that Black Myth Wukong gets announced this year at the Game Awards, and I wouldn't be surprised if it's released that night too. Place your bets now. The thing is, Spencer's laughter here, I think, is probably the most important part of this whole article. I'm sorry. But the last time I probably heard him talking about exclusives and how they've gone to other uh, you know, platforms, it seemed like he was more in a position talking about how PlayStation has been using its influence and, you know, getting money from Call of Duty and maybe getting money from games that are multi-plat to try to block games from going to Xbox and actually harm the brand. But in this missive, the laughter to me shows a certain level of comfort that goes into actually running the studio and the fact that there's just so much more to manage and Xbox gamers have a plethora of games that are coming their way. If you look on Game Pass, it's not just Game Pass is the exclusive to xbox i think that's what it is you know look at flight simulator stalker 2 indiana jones sniper elite as well as other games that have shown up in the last few months to the game pass platform it's just insane and all of the management that needs to happen within the studios under xbox themselves right the activision stuff the xbox game studio stuff the bethesda stuff all of this needs to be managed. All these games need to be properly positioned. They need to be marketed. They need to be sold. Finances need to be done. There's just so much to be done for the leadership there that they cannot be bothered. Even if the game sold 500 million copies, I'm not kidding you. Like, literally, they could not be bothered. <laughs> now, the game's not going to sell 500 million copies without including Xbox in it. You know what I mean? There's only 61 million you know, or 65 million PlayStation consoles, but I'm just giving a hypothetical. And I think that laugh was very uncanny because if you actually take a very close look, there are other games that I think have, you know, parody that are coming to the Xbox ecosystem. One of them being Wu Chang Fallen Feathers. This is a game that I strongly believe is going to pretty much give Xbox players that aesthetic gameplay system and all of the above that Wukong also brought to the table. Plus, you're getting it on Game Pass day one. Very simple. I think this particular paradigm right now of, you know, oh, this game didn't come and that game didn't come is going to be a forgotten concept. Not only am I just talking about exclusivity dying, I'm just I'm talking about just the fact that there will be so many games to play for the Xbox user. That at the end of the day, he's not going to feel that one or two games did not show up on their Xbox platform. Because they'll be busy trying to get through the games that are already available to them. This is, in my opinion, where gaming has gone with Xbox. And not only that, Xbox is, you know, pulling its own strings in the Asian market as well. And I'm excited because now the Chinese 
developers are going to be put, you know, front and center because they've always been OP. It's just that, you know, in the full in most of the gaming circles, n not a lot of people have really known. But in the developer si circles, oh yeah, it's been known that, you know, the developers in that region of Asia have been, you know, juggernauts in the way that they can actually implement gameplay. I think some of their games kind of made it out into the wild, but they have been something else in terms of being just so solid in their game development pipeline. And they can bring quality as well, too. And I think that quality is about to be seen very soon. So the whole Wukong thing, you know, now the game is sold. Everyone's already calmed down. It's not really that missed because there's a huge amount of games that are available here to play. And, you know, if you want to play Wukong, you can get a PC or you can get a... It plays on the Steam Deck, doesn't it? Or you can get a Rogue Ally or something. You can still play it. Thanks for watching the video. Let me hear your thoughts in the comment section. I appreciate you guys' time and audience. Hopefully, we'll talk pretty soon in another one. Peace out.